Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. And welcome to us actually following through on a and video doing idea. doing what we say that we're going to <laughs> that do. That we mentioned recently. We had said last week that we were going to do a top 10 bins finds ever video. And we said we were going to do it on Tuesday. We lied. But we lied because we went to the bins and we were too excited. We wanted to show you what we got on Tuesday. So Sorry. instead, we're telling you today what our top 10 bins finds ever were. And as you guys know, we have really good bins around here. We are very blessed and highly favored that we have very good bins yes. up at here in the Twin <laughs> We interrupt this program to let you know. Don't be alarmed, but it's this okay. is a red alert. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's not do that. There we go. We have a special surprise video going up tomorrow on Friday, May 21st. 21st. <laughs> you are not going to want to miss it, and we're not going to tell you what it is yet, but we do have a very special video in store tomorrow that we are extremely, extremely excited for you guys to see. So you're getting a bonus video this week. And now, take it away, Jack and Ryan, with the best bins finds you've ever heard of in your life. Well, honestly, this was actually really hard to come up with because of how many good finds we've had. We will have an honorable mentions at one point in this list just to kind of like tell you the other amazing things we found. Before we get to that top, that coveted top number one spot, which is always changing. I could go to the bench tomorrow and this whole list could be completely different. One of the items in one of our lists was in the past couple hauls. We find good stuff quite frequently, Probably. luckily. Yes. I don't remember what haul it was, but I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, duh. <laughs> You, he I'm almost sorry. forgot to even put it on the list. We'll get to that in a minute. It's okay. We'll bum, 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 <laughs> bum, bum, bum. It reminds me of... <laughs> it reminds me of when in the Christmas Snoopy, he goes... Dun, 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 dun. That's what I was oh, thinking. Lucy, she goes... Don't you know Jingle Bells and Ho, Ho, Ho and Mistletoe for Pretty Girls? Yeah. Please. Tangent number one. We've already got a yawn down on a tangent. We we are also it's a class from it's, Minnesota, so yeah. peanuts is like a genetic trait. We are gonna go <laughs> number ten to number one. This doesn't necessarily like what it sold for. That's not how we're ranking it. No, we're not ranking like these aren't the best highest sales ever. Even though like they kind of are. I mean, obviously that played a part, but we're not like solely basing our list on what they sold for or flipped for. Mm -hmm. This is really like what we thought of them, how excited we were about them what we consider just our favorites. And I mean, price has a little bit of yeah. influence. I think very conveniently, mine does go in some kind of price order. Mine's kind Obviously, kinda. you get really, really, really excited about the really expensive stuff. Yeah. It may not be 100% just no, based on price. Some, so we're going to go right. number 10 to number one and throw in some honorable mentions, of course. I'll say my 10th favorite. Ryan will say his, and we'll just kind of go back and forth. It'll be Pinball, great. let's jump into it. My number 10 item is when I found a Chloe handbag, an authentic leather Chloe bag. What was the name? I of don't it? remember the name. It was the been Paddington? Like, yes, Paddington. it was the Paddington. It was the one with the big lock on it. I posted an Instagram picture of it. I remember it was sitting. We're gonna. I'm actually gonna edit in a little alert here of like it was in the bottom of a bin. Because I always tell you guys, do not rule out bins that have been searched through. Do not. Never. Ever. Never. Ever. Ever. ever, ever forever. You will see consistently on this list, so much of this came from bins that had been like dug top to bottom. Just so, bottom of bin alert. <laughs> ding ding. This Chloe was literally like thrown back into a bin that had been searched through. They were just about to switch it out again. Yes. And she was right there. I noticed right away that it looked super expensive. She did have some wear to her, but like the leather was so nice. The hardware was crazy. It's a Chloe bag in the bin. Yeah. And I looked inside, saw the Chloe label, <laughs> looked in the pocket, saw the code. Hello. Stampity stamp. Everything was marked. And so, yeah, I made an Instagram post and I actually sold you it to an Instagram post. I sold it to our friend Ivy and Blood. Daniela. Daniela. She gave it like a bath. Oh yeah, she did the thing where you bathe it. Because, like I said, it was a little dirty. It honestly was not that bad. I do not, I think someone threw it back and I don't know why, but. People at our bins have consistently not liked bags. Even so. I guess when they lux. So that's that. And that's my number 10. Okay, my number 10 is a pair of Kenzo Tiger Espadrilles. I found these, it was like, it was pretty close after they had changed the shoes, which is also kind of scary that I remember like exactly the moment when I found all these. And they were rubber banded together. So far, both of these were pre-Janine. 
the, yeah, this was like, I think it was like 2019, 2018, 2019, maybe. Yeah. So this was like before all the fun, all the, the panda, all the, the Panda Express pandemonium, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, I was so excited. I remember like Jack had taken me to a Saxaw fifth that weekend before. And I was like, oh, this is fun. Look at this little tiger dude. It was a Kenzo sweatshirt. And then I found him again in the bins. I was like, ooh. We had kind of like just learned about Kenzo not like too long before yeah. this, really. And I was like, so that was pretty exciting. Also, a, neither of us have ever found Kenzo since. Actually, I found it one time before that in the mm -hmm. form of like a woman's dress. And then I found the shoes. Yeah. And I only sold them for $70 and I should have sold them for more. Yes, should have. Which that's also a lot of this list is me being like, why did you only sell that for this <laughs> money? What the heck is wrong with you? But that's okay. My number nine actually strays away from our normal bins. This isn't even a Minnesota bins. And it is this Fendi wrist thing. I'm going to call it a wrist thing because I don't like really a, know. It's like a, we'll call it an evening moment. It's like a mini bag. <laughs> Something like that. I think you're supposed to hold it like with your hand, not really around your you wrist. You wear it like here. Like you wear it like on this part of your wrist and yes. just kind of like But it's trapped. tiny. It's very small. Vintage. It's a really interesting little bag. Hopefully I have a picture right here because I, I never listed it. I actually still have it. So if I don't have a picture, this is probably taken by me in the past 24 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> this thing was like the first time I ever found anything Lux in the bins. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I had been to Minnesota bins when I found this. No, you hadn't. You only went to the one in Des Moines. This was like the second or third time I'd ever been to any bins and it was like literally in the back corner bin. Yeah. Far, as far from the door as you could get in just smashed in a corner of the bin. And, and it was in the stuff I bin. It wasn't even in the clothing bin. Freaked. Because this was like, not only my oh, first- Oh, you lost it. Not even, like, not only my first like Lux bins find, but my first like Lux bag find. And I, it had the code. No, it's 100% real. It had all she's the old. right logos. This is all real. She's oh. real. Beautiful. It wasn't so the Fendi, cute. as you can see. It wasn't the Fendi, like, Zuka monogram print, but it was still one of the really popular vintage ones. So. I love it. It's so cute. Mine number nine was a Gucci, the Gucci, Gucci-sma? Gucci-sama? Gucci-sama. Gucci I don't know what the heck I'm thinking of Gucci-sama. Cheese-sama? Uh, yeah, I don't know what all those Sounds names. like a kind of, like, Gucci pizza. The Gucci-cheese-sama? It just says pepperonis in the shape of the G's and it's like the monogram pizza. Okay, somebody that has Gucci something to cheese do with food, dog gotta go on that. Gucci GG logo doctor bag. Unfortunately, she had seen a better year, a better decade, a better lifetime. She was about Literally a better to decade. Just be she, had seen the, she had seen the 80s and she had shined. The 80s was her moment. <laughs> Catch <laughs> Wendy Williams going, she is the moment. Yes. That was his Gucci bag circa mm, 1982. Um, she was so well loved, but I found it in the bin and obviously it's structurally she was fine. It was the interior was completely shot. And like visually, exterior wise. No, the front zipper works. So pretty. She had a little somebody from the eighties got a little crazy with a cigarette and just went Shh. she had one little teeny burn. But other than that, it was fine. And I sold it for eighty dollars. And I don't regret that at all. <laughs> it was, was so fun though. She was quite like unusable. It was you very really could just like, like do a complete look at it. You'd probably use it. It's one of those ones they'd probably use to make like the Apple Watch they bands. Would, yeah, they'd cut it up and use it for the canvas. But still mm -hmm. pretty. Still finding Gucci in the bin. And I pulled it out of a bin. Mm -hmm. Which also the lady that was next to me pulled out the really really like the ones that was just like I would have left it there It was in pieces the a stitching Gucci? was coming the stitching was coming undone It was like there was horse feed or something in it like it was <laughs> wild <laughs> Is that My number eight continuing on with a Gucci was bottom of the bin alert Ding 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 this Gucci black bow detail button so blouse this yeah, was from this was from like tom ford gucci i think i found the runway picture of it yeah and it mm -hmm. obviously wasn't like when you want that. to find gucci it's not exactly the kind you'd be like really wanting this like, was the, like before gucci went all like crazy this was when everything was like black but all gucci's good it's gucci. gucci and it was you still nothing for it it was still definitely not as bad like it wasn't just a button up like it had the big bow detail it was really cute it, it actually really it sold for me quite quickly. That was my first time ever finding Gucci anywhere. I still have only like twice. And I was over the moon. It was literally, when I say at the bottom of the bin, like bottom. Like I was digging through like American Eagle. If you don't know me at the bin, which most of you probably don't because you haven't seen me at the bins, but it's I go through kind of funny. like every single item, all of them. They literally do. So yeah, I found that at the literal bottom. I, oh, I was like, what? <laughs> 
I was, oh my gosh, I was just like, Gucci, Gucci, like that was Who crazy. are you wearing? Gucci. <gasps> oh, that actually, and I found it like the week before we got engaged. Because I remember doing that haul, and then our engagement was like a week later. It was like two summers ago. Oh my ago. god, what? Yeah. 20, oh my god, summer 2019 was a while. Can you do summer. math? No, I absolutely cannot. Can't. That was fun. Okay, that so was my, my number eight. My number eight was a bin that I actually found some really good things in. And, but this was the highlight. Oh my god, this blouse was beautiful. It was a Tibby wool printed blouse. It's like blue check. It has these like baggier, like Terry Mugler 80s like sleeves. Oh my god, it is beautiful. I still have it listed for $170. And oh. It's, I wish I would have found the two piece. It, there's a matching skirt that comes with it. And, oh. and I don't think Homegirl bought the skirt, but the top was so pretty. And it's so well made. I need to do a compilation oh. video at some point of Ryan just going, like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> me, and, oh. Me gushing over women's clothes. Yeah. <laughs> My number seven is when, this one's a little bit more recent, mm -hmm. and this was not a bottom of the bin one. I found a pair of Louis Vuitton loafers. You will see there were a couple other good finds that day, but we'll, I- We'll circle back to this event. I'm I happened to walk away with one pair of men's Louis Vuitton loafers that were not employee. They had been bought and worn by an employee because the logo was scratched, but they weren't the ones that are made for the employee. Which, that would kill me. If I had to take a pair of scissors to a Louis Vuitton oh, shoe, gosh, I think I it would die. So, these were like super stunning shape. The leather was like next level. Oh my level. god, it was insane. They the were so well made. The laces are leather. Like, yeah, that's crazy. That. They're so beautiful. They're so I did send those to the real real because there was nothing about them that like said Louis. There was no monogram. Besides in the foot. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hard sell. I think I listed them for like a couple days and I was like, you know what? Real real will sell them faster. It's Louis, they'll market high. So that's what I did with those. They absolutely but did. Me. Louis Vuitton at the bins. I would have never thought I would even I don't think I would have either. I don't care honestly. boring or not. I would have never thought I'd find Louis even at the thrift store. No. So no, no, no. we found definitely found our first shirt fakes. That was 100%. Very, but like the real thing ooh, it was wild. Very exciting. Which is funny because my number 7 actually comes from that exact same bin. So the one that I will highlight is the pair of Louis Vuitton employee shoes. So I found six or seven pairs in total. But we'll just lump them all into one. So the first pair I sold for $250 on Poshmark. They were adorable. They were black suede. They had the little chunk of the monogram on the back of the heel tab. They had Louis Vuitton stamped onto the bottom. They were beautiful, yeah. which they were in a bin, in the suitcase bin, which I always discount the suitcase bin because it's awful. And they were all in plastic bags. They were all in those really nasty, like, I call them like airplane bags. Those like little airplane trash bags that you used to like get like sick Like grocery in. store. Yeah, those like really thin, nasty plastic bags. And I was ripping them open like, no, I look like, I don't even, I probably looked like a nut. Yeah. Ripping open these little plastic bags, throwing these little black shoes in my cart. Yeah. It was a weird trade off because mine were like Louie, not employee, but boring. And Ryan's were employee ones, but they had some monogram to them. Yes, so both were really good, both were really exciting. And Ryan found like six or five or whatever. So. Two men's pairs and five women's pairs. Yeah. Which and, in the bin. That's insane to me. Which also, there's only one Louis Vuitton store in the greater like like actual like standalone store. So I want to go back and be like, I found all your shoes at Goodwill and yeah. made money from them. <laughs> Fun fact, I had found a single of mine at first and I kept on to that thing and I literally found the other one in a completely different bin as I was going to check out. Yeah, somebody, somebody throwing it back. Never throw back your shoes unless you're literally, literally like in Putting line to your check card out. into the chip machines. Other than you that, don't know. do it. Never know. People throw things Even when they do a shoe switch out. You never know. You never know. Number six. Bottom of the bin alert. <laughs> I feel this, like everything for you is bottom of the bin. It really is. I found a Bottega Veneta suede butter leather crossbody bag. This thing was bag. so pretty. That little open top one. Just like oh. the Chloe, I could tell it was thrown back because it was in like the it toys. Was in the toys. The toys. The stuff. So was this thing was absolutely insane. I've never probably felt nicer leather in my entire life. No, it was, was Veneta, she definitely gets a hall pass for charging so much for those bags. It was They're so nice. Insane. And I was so excited. Luckily with Bottega, I feel like not everyone knows that brand. Mm -mm. Maybe someone picked it up because they're like, oh, the leather's nice. And then they were like, meh, and threw it back. But I'm like, I know what this I is. I know exactly what this is. And oh, she okay. ended up selling in my iconic thousand yeah, dollar bundle. Thousand dollar bundle box. I had one bundle that sold for a thousand dollars. And she was in there. So she said 
I got five stars, she so she's in, home. she's in a good home now. Yes, she is. Okay, my number seven is a pair of old gringo silver distressed cowboy boots. I sold them for $250. I think to one of you guys, I made 200 bucks. I remember it was like- Same I, day as the Gucci. Yeah, it was like, oh my God, that was a wicked day at the band. I had watched a Savannah Street Tabby video and she was like, if you don't know old gringo, like look for them. And I was like, oh, okay. I'll never find them. Plot twist, they were right. One of them was literally like, as they were wheeling out shoes pre Ginny 19, it was like sitting right on top, literally like ding, sitting right on top of the bin. And I have never snatched something fast in my entire life. And then Jack found the other one, like all the way down at the other end. Cause it used to be like four sections of two. So there's eight total. And I, oh, I was so excited to find them. I stuffed them in the bottom of my cart. And they weren't even just like a boring pair. Like no, they were, they were so, so I mean, you guys cute. are seeing them right now, but they were so They were pretty. so cute. And they were so well made. One of those things you would have picked up not knowing the brand. Like you would have bought it because oh, it's 100%. They're nice leather, super cute, 100%. really nice style. Adorable. They were adorable. My number five is another Gucci doctor style bag. And this one is quite we've had recent. Of, we've had a couple of these. So this one, I hopefully have a photo for you guys because I actually sold it through Instagram to the lovely girly boo Yvonne. Yvonne. And she's loving on that thing right now. That's a good I recently I found this bag, kind of like Ryan's. The inside had seen better days, but this one was actually usable. It was just- The inside doing, was not near as bad as when no. I No. It was just doing the thing where it gets like a little sticky, but once you get the stickiness out, it's just kind of a cloth interior. Yeah, so it's like micro suede. Totally honestly. usable. So that was really exciting. And the outside was like pristine, not even oh corner wear. It looks like- Not it, even handle wear. I think that was one of those bags that somebody definitely like got as a gift. And then and, it like lived in the top of the closet. Yeah. Or like she, she definitely did not use that bag. Or she just all. treated it like a prize because like- <laughs> She got a little Renko for her jet. Well, maybe like stuffed things inside because it's a purse, but yeah. then like the outside was like protected because that yeah. thing was just beautiful. So, so beautiful. Yeah, that was really, really exciting. Once again, it had been skipped by quite a few people, which You're might tight. be because they didn't want to do the work, but I'm like, you really, it's Gucci. You don't you really have to do any work and you can still get something for You're it. You're gonna skip a Gucci. I'm like, My number five is a new brand, which I was like, oh, nice leather jacket, haha. -ha. Plot twist. It was a Veda black leather jacket. I do not remember the specific name, but I pulled it out of the bin and was like, oh, it's nice and it's new and it's modern. And I didn't realize it was new tags for a thousand dollars. Literally had the Nordstrom tag in the pocket with the little safety pin, 995. I was like, oh. I did not know that Ooh. brand. I and, didn't either. And it was like one of the first things I found. Wasn't it in it the was shoe crazy. bin too? No, it was in the clothes bin. But it was like, so the bins. Oh, they've this switched was, them. This was they've right. Them this now. was right after we um, reopened. Yes, we did for the first time. This was right after the bins reopened after the big shutdown, and it was this nice little, this nice little man, older gentleman that was looking through, looking for work stuff. He threw back a Ted Baker dress, a joie, wool jacket, and this leather thing, and I was like, oh, I thought it was like some Forever Twenty One something I could take to Play Doh's. Um, and I was like, oh, well, it seems nice. It's good quality, and there was some in the pocket, and I was like, left a receipt in there. Who is this? Who is this woman? Oh, plot twist. She never wore it. And I sold it for two hundred and forty dollars. Which is insane. I sold it for 300 I lied, and made 240 <laughs> It was crazy. It was crazy. Number four for me is, once again, Gucci. This is the third and final time she's on my list. Gucci, Gucci-sama print Gucci. monogram pants. These were like in the shape of men's dress pants. And I honestly thought they were fake. Because you know, when something's like way too logo-y, you're like, Fake. Fake. Nope. These, I did a lot of research and the button lined up with vintage ones. Mm -hmm. The inside tag lined up. The vintage Gucci has a teeny little size tag right in front of the pocket. That was there. Everything lined up. It did feel really high quality, the canvas. And so they felt really certain. They turned out to be real. And get this, these were in the Waterloo, Iowa bins. <laughs> in the boxes. Or boxes, where I, you never find anything. But they were there, and I just, I, <laughs> I could not believe it. I got them because I was like, oh, these are fake, but like, ha ha. Waterloo, I was wearing Gucci dress pants. I was like, ha ha, they're funny. So I'm going to get them and show Ryan. <laughs> they real. Did the research once I got home and I was like blown away. It was, they were something like Billie Eilish would wear right now. Yeah. Like they look like they came right out of the Dapper Dan. Yeah, it looks like collection. Dapper Dan stuff, but it's just genuine vintage logo Gucci. And so. it was like, okay, awesome. I mean, like people in the eighties wanted a stunt, I guess. Good yeah. for them. So my number four, is also a Gucci item. So this is my my one bot. Well, uh, there's a couple bottom of the bin. Sirens are going off.
It was also in the bed bin, which I had two bins that I cannot stand. The, I call them the bed bin, the sheets bin, and the suitcase bin. They're both awful, so don't discount <laughs> literally anything. And it was this Gucci baby deer print Disney dress. Oh my God, this thing was adorable. This it is was like, so cute. And like it was 2019 so Gucci. And I found this this summer. It was like a couple weeks after the bins reopened. Yeah. It was wild. It was crazy. And it was real. It has some grease stains on it. Threw a little dawn, threw it in the wash, which kind of made me nervous throwing a thousand dollar children's dress in the washing machine. But like, it was just cotton. These patches aren't going to come off. This other mom washed it and yeah. apparently didn't know to put dawn on her daughter's grease stains. Another one of those things that you would just assume is fake. Like you'd see it and you'd be like, oh cute, like a fake. I thought whatever. it was a dog costume. <laughs> to be completely honest, when I first found it, I was like, oh, haha, when those like because we see them all the time those like fake louis vuitton like dog supreme shirts. like dog costumes or those yeah. like little addy dog whatever so i was like oh haha funny and i pulled the rest of it out of the bin and i was like oh 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 this is this is for a, ch a human child okay interesting and i flipped it over tag looked good all the fabric tags all the fat the book of fabric tags in mm -hmm. this thing it was wild i did my little google i took my little instagram picture and i said in the cart she goes <laughs> and i have it listed for 340 if anybody's interested. <laughs> <laughs> then my number three, this is actually two items, but it's because A, they are basically the exact same thing, mm -hmm. and B, you're not gonna believe this, they were found at most seven days apart. At the same day. I wouldn't even say a week. It was they, like three days. It was my two trips in a row. I found each of these. I found, wow. first off, this blue, beautiful blue Pantone. I think it was 2020 Pantone color of the year. Blue Christian Dior wool coat. It was so beautiful. Not a flaw to her. Nope. Not a snag. Not a tear. There was no pilling. This no moth beautiful. holes. Oh my God. Stunning, stunning. I was deceased. I made an Instagram post. I was just like, this is like one of the best things I've ever found in my entire life. Nothing could top this. Nothing could even match this. Plot twist. <laughs> the table's a table. Flip the switch. Go advance ahead three days. The next time I go, <laughs> and this one is a bottom of the bins alert. I find this brown wool long Christian Dior vintage coat. No flaws, <laughs> no moth holes, no snags, no stains, no pit stains. It was like the exact same style. Nothing. Honestly. It was weird. Nothing wrong with it. Literally, like Ryan said, like three or four days later. It was, they, I don't know how, but they must have come from the same person. They had, they were like it. almost the identical same size. It was almost the exact same style. Yeah. Like they were both in like pristine same condition. Tags. Yeah. Like bought around the same oh time. Oh my gosh. So like, can you imagine how expensive those must have been like back in the day? It, that was like $4,000 for the two, at least. And that was like 80s money. Yeah. Which now is like way more. Yeah. I believe that I sold the blue one myself. For, I think you did. For like 400 maybe. And 400 then the, the brown one I sent in to the real real and probably made about the same. So <sighs> that, when I made the second post with the brown one, I was like, you guys aren't going to believe this because I don't really like, believe I this. I don't believe it myself. But I found another one. Can I have a really? third? <laughs> My number three is a purse. It was the Fendi Zuka print, which I do know the name of the print, bucket bag. Oh my god, this thing was amazing. I watched somebody pick it up and put it back, and like your heart's like, oh my god, is she gonna take it? Please put it down, put it down, put it down. Literally, you're just like, don't know what it is, don't know what it is, don't know what it is, don't know what it is. And I literally, you could see like smoke coming after my cart. I mean, like, <laughs> and it was at the last shoe bin. And people are shifty at these bins because you're only supposed to go one way, but people, you know, do the thing. You you go to the end of the row and you sneak around. Not gonna happen. Snatch that bag. I said. I snatched it in two seconds. The inside was beautiful. There was no peeling. There was no like any issues. The outside was amazing. It was 100% authentic. And I sold it in like two days for $400, which I think is like one of the fastest, most expensive flips I've ever had. Yeah, probably even insane. could have got more, but I mean, for that quick. I paid a dollar for it and I turned it into 320. That is insane. And she let, she got five stars. My number two, we're getting down there, is this Supreme Swan and Floral print, like brocade satin. <gasps> bomber. Again, this is one of those things that you're like, oh, this is fake. Because, like, There's it's no way. Supreme. There's like, no su way it's in the bin. Supreme, Gucci, all those are faked so often. Especially, like, like the, big, so... the big logo stuff. But, obviously, with it being this kind of interesting print, it wasn't just, like, a Bach logo It wasn't thing. the Bach logo. I was mm -hmm. like, this would be really hard to fake and really specific to fake. It's too, yeah, so, it was too, like, if they're gonna fake anything, they're not gonna fake this. Yeah, so right when I found it, I, like, did the good old, like, punch it into the bottom you of the bury cart. bury it into the bottom of your cart. Bury yeah. it like a squirrel burying his, like, 
like walnut. Like literally just like out of sight, out of mind until I can get alone and start Googling. And like do your little inspection. So mm -hmm. I, I think I just kind of was like, I'm now so like. <laughs> well then you get, then you're like, oh my God, is there more? And then you just get so excited that you like get a little nervous. I'm like starting to like fade, black out. And so I'm like, <laughs> okay, I don't even know if I can keep looking. I gotta go see if this is real. So I go and Ryan and I have had a few Supreme shirts ourselves in our own personal collection. So I knew what tags look like mm -hmm. and I found the tag in the pocket, totally lined up, yep. perfect. There were some like, some light grease stains to it. So I was like, okay, now we got a reason for someone maybe actually donating it so it's starting to like look good the, the chips are starting to be like okay, okay i google like supreme print bomber and i scrolled for a little while but there she pops up again everything's starting to like seem good expensive zippers i don't remember what supreme uses but it was like ykk or whatever they I use think it's Riri. On the yeah it might have been Riri. Riri zippers. everything lined up ended up being real i could not believe it it was an ultra rare supreme piece which is crazy that somebody's this is honestly probably somebody's mom yeah i was like you're not gonna wear this dumpy jacket and throw <laughs> in the goodwill pile so i tried my best obviously it's like dry clean i tried my best to clean the grease stains didn't really happen that well so i just dealt with the grease stains still sold it in 24 hours for 300 dollars <laughs> insane i still i'm i I was like fake. Nope. If it I was fake, I would have kept it. Honestly. Oh yeah, me too. I oh, almost 100%. wanted to keep it. Then when I saw that it was like ultra rare, I was like, no, uh, she's I'm gonna be I'm sold. I'm gonna make the money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So my number two is another Gucci piece, and it was the Gucci. They were called the Wrighton sneakers that I gave Jack. They were his size. They didn't look like they really had ever been worn at all. They looked. They were. They were meant to look distressed, kind of like a golden goose situation tags checked out bottom checked out the little design they had in the in the insole was amazing i lifted the insole up the things inside checked out the interior tags all looked great now they're mine it was crazy <laughs> i don't know how somebody bought these they were released in they were resort of 2020 which came out like mm, not that long ago yeah and yeah. they were already in the bin, so I'm like, somebody went through a bad divorce, or somebody did not know what these were. Which, you guys just saw this in the hall recently. So before we get into our number ones, we have some honorable mentions. So editor, please kick in the like, na, 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 like graduation music. The honorable mentions title. So we each picked five honorable mentions, just to show you guys that there's so much more amazing there's things so we found. Things. Like, besides the honorable mentions, I have so many more I can tell you guys about. Oh my God. We, we gotta, we keep, we gotta this keep this, this at least around 30 minutes long. So I have found a pair of black leather spotless Manolo Blahnik heels. Oh yeah, you did. It's all here for her. To me, luggage that was like the size of a cart, a shopping cart, and it took me a while to get it shipped to the real real, but I finally figured out how to ship it, and I did end up making like $150. Let's check out. We'll just sit through crabs for each of them. Ralph Lauren Country Cardigan. If you don't know, vintage Ralph Lauren that's Western style or anything by Ralph Lauren Country is so sought after and so expensive. And this thing sold for I think three hundred and fifty dollars on eBay. And it was this. It was stunning. I would have kept it if I would have found it. I would have kept it. This male Mason male dress. I found it. I think like the season after it came out. I had found it on Farfetch. It retailed at like fifteen hundred dollars. Hundred percent silk. I'm just insane. Stunning. Just had a few few small marks, and it sold on eBay for at least one hundred and fifty. And this beautiful Orla Keeley Corduroy Dungarees. Dungarees. Oh my gosh, I so wanted to have these in my top 10, but the top 10 was just too good. I we couldn't could find we room. Couldn't, we couldn't fit them in. But these are so stunning. Once again, these were like a 2019 item, and I found them in like 2019. And mm -hmm. they, I think one of the buttons needed to be replaced, and I was like, okay. I can put a button on them. That's the easiest fix I could almost think of, so. <laughs> oh, I love those things so much. Okay, so my first honorable mention is a pair of buff bunny goddess leggings these are one of those weird like one-off instagram workout leggings that made me a lot of money and i was very excited to find them so buff bunny thank you uh number two ralph lauren black tote so pretty and i honestly kind of put in the ralph lauren bags not anymore this was beautiful the cambridge satchel company black messenger from a haul that we did at some point in 2020. Oh, it was beautiful. It was such a nice bag. And one of you guys bought it, so I hope you enjoy it. The Stetson open road hat that I snatched out of the bin that I wasn't supposed to be in. <laughs> Thank you, loved it. And then the Lululemon all day mini tote. I don't ever find the Lululemon anymore, but I remember that bag fondly. 
I really do. And drum roll, please, the winners. <laughs> I feel like this is like an award show. It kind of is, honestly. My number one pick for my best find ever. You guys are gonna be stunned, but she is also from the Waterloo boxes. I could not believe that I found this there, and I found this on the first time I went there. Yeah, you did. And I it was wild. Once again, saw it right away, and I was like, fake. Looked into it. Real. Just kidding. This Prada print. I forgot to write down the name. Tote. Like to pseudo something. Prada has a lot of interesting names. It was so pretty. It was this beautiful print. I had seen this print before. It's literally like one of my favorite Prada prints. And I was just like, what? The lining was perfect. Mm -hmm. The logo like print or font was perfect. It Zippers was were expensive. It's crazy. Absolutely authentic. Sold it for around four hundred dollars. Oh, so beautiful. I don't know so, how that so, ended up so, in so, so beautiful. I have like, no idea. But when I found out that was real, I remember Anne Eckhart was staring oh, yeah, at me when I picked you. it up, mm -hmm. and I held it up, and she's like, ah, ha, ha. And I was like, Anne, this is real. And she's like, and she was kidding. like, no. <laughs> She's just <laughs> denial. No, it's not. No, she was, was like, funny. what? Amazing. Oh, the Prada set was so nice. I would have kept it. I think I would have kept almost everything yeah. on this list. <laughs> My number one is she's small but mighty. It was the Louis Vuitton pouch hat that I was gracefully handed by somebody at the bids. It's my highest sale to date. That is something I found. I sold it for $499 on Posh within the week. And I didn't realize these were like rare. Those Louis Vuitton, they don't make them anymore or something funky. I think they're retired. Yeah. They retired and that's what it is. Oh my God, it was so nice. And I, I had a little inkling. I was like, ooh, this one looks good. Said it looks good. Came, this looks good. Date code checks out. And I had it authenticated. Which that I think was the cream of the crop was that yeah. I had it authenticated. And they quickly said real. They were like, ta ching. I said, yeah. oh my God. And I, I was so say, pissed. I was like, are you kidding me? I like didn't think I would ever find anything as good as those Louis Vuitton shoes. No. At all. I was and like, now that's oh, not even ha -ha, the top. that's it. No, exactly. And so I'm, there will be a day where I find something nicer. I know. And I'm going to scream. I know. I'm going to be like, well, I'm never going to find anything <laughs> nicer than this. I hope I can pass now. It just keeps happening. <laughs> it just keeps happening. Yes. You know, that's okay. I, yeah. And actually that pouch hat was in like a bin of a bunch of fake Louis, which was it really was. weird. Which but I it was the only one that ended up being it was real. the only real one. It was in a, I wonder if it was somebody's like bag collection. There was a bunch of Kate Spade, a bunch of Coach, a bunch of fake Louis Vuitton. Yeah, and a real like, Louis Yeah, I was gonna say, and thankfully, I got the one new one, so. Yeah, so those are our best bins finds ever. They're from all Today. over. <laughs> so far. So far. Yeah, we'll have to do an updated one of these in like a year or something and see if we've oh, topped see it. See what happens. Yeah, or just mixed in some new things in there. That is why we are so bin addicted, because can you see, how can you stay away from a place? That, and the cost of goods for all this stuff is probably $50. Yeah, if you weighed well, that maybe. All 10 of these. We both probably paid about 25 bucks for all this stuff. All of it put together. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Thousands off of the bins. So we are so interested. Please tell us what is your best ever Goodwill outlet bins find. Or if you're not a bin shopper, what is the best thing you've ever found at a Goodwill? Yes. But if you are a bin shopper, I'm interested. And that is all that we have for you guys today. So thank you for watching along. And we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Maybe. We will see you we tomorrow. We will be here tomorrow at some point. Please stay tuned. Bye. Goodbye.